Correct. So the first thing we have to look at when it comes to methylation is, are we getting the nutrients in through a really good, healthy diet, right? Leafy greens, high quality grass fed meat, maybe even some organs, maybe even some seafood, you know, choosing carbon. And then also the next thing is, are we our macro style then? Because we could be doing decent, but if we're doing way too much carbohydrate and we're causing our blood sugar to really surge up and go wonky, like a lot of vegetarian vegans do, because they tend to be very, very carb heavy. It's hard to find a veg vegetarian or vegan that's getting 100 grams of protein at least, but they're not also getting you know, 400 grams of carbohydrates. It's hard unless you're just relying on protein powders. That's the only way you can do it, which isn't, you know, great if that's your primary source of protein. And so that's a big deal because the higher your carbohydrate goes, you're also going to burn through a lot of B vitamins and a lot of magnesium because to process that carbohydrate, the Krebs cycle and the glycolysis involves lots of B vitamins, amino acids, and magnesium to run those processes. And then also a lot of times if we're eating a lot of vegetarian, vegan things. There's a lot of anti-nutrients in those food. And so there may be lots of B vitamins in your so-called whole wheat. But once you factor in the lectins and the phytates and the oxalates and all these anti-nutrients, you may not be able to access a lot of those vitamins too. And so you may on paper see that, that they're there, but they're really not getting into your body. And then the last thing is, what if we have an MTHFR issue like 70% of the population do? You may need some activated methylated B vitamins. And that's where organic acid testing comes in because we'll look at fig glue, four amino glutamate. We'll look at methylmalonic acid. We'll look at xanthiurinate, kinaurinate. We'll look at some of these B vitamin markers. We'll look at Krebs cycle intermediary compounds, markers 22 through 32, 34 on that O test to see how the mitochondria is doing, which can tell us about B vitamins, CoQ10, ALA, all these important nutrients. So very important to make sure we have the methylating nutrients there. First from food, second dialing in our macros, and then third, we may have the supplement on top of that, even healthy people need, need to have it. And also, if we're having extra toxins from mold or heavy metals, well, now our methyl group needs even higher, we need even more methylation, more sulfur amino acids, and that really increases the demand. That's where supplements become even more necessary.